Is this ninjutsu? Genjutsu? Sorcery? Like, this is how them announcers was when Jordan did that behind the back. It's not that deep. Bro ass was like, I'm really strong in all the other guinea, and I beat the hell out of one of these niggas. Boy, straight up, niggas don't want to fight. Sakura looking like a fake ass Boruto on the top of wall rolls. Like, Sasuke, are we doing it now? Right here? Like, yo ass is not involved. So for how layered the Leland Sasuke kerfuffle was, I expected it to be talked about a lot more than it was. Like, this wasn't just Sasuke getting beat up another day in the office. This fight had a lot of crazy ass stuff surrounding it. Like, there are a few different things that needs to be harped on. Like, number one, Lee was completely out of pocket in this interaction. He started a nigga moment just because, bro. And two, this was a complete aura shift because Sasuke went on a fraud watch world tour the moment the shooting exams ended. And I understand Stand land the waves he got damn killed it was by a catfish and all that sucks to suck i know those are low moments they're like dangerous ass ninja her and zabuza and yes i said her you niggas can't tell me nothing he looked badass when he was losing so he maintained the standard as the rightful heir to the aura that comes with being in the uchiha clan that is a completely different dynamic from coming across another boy in a global tournament and losing a quick 30 seconds in the hall in front of your best friend and potential love interest Therefore, this fight was indeed the birth of Fraudske Uchiha. In terms of Rock Lee, I want y'all to hear me out because this fight has been talked about a bunch of different times and I want to bring something different to the table. So just humor me. Here. Rock Lee is a hating ass monkey and completely out of pocket in his actions during this fight. We know all about monkeys from a very special series and you can't tell me he don't fit right with that crowd. Like I may not be able to imbue my feet with chakra and walk on water like the Christ. I can help you see the Christ. Like bro is a hard worker. That's his appeal, right? We find out very fast in the Shichunin incident, it was a little deeper than Lee wanting to challenge himself. So in the predestined inception of the encounter in question, we start by seeing Rock Lee get his ass done. Uh, he looking like the different kid in class. You know, different heavy intentions on the quotation marks. Bro might be on the spectrum. Nobody knows. You see these jobber ass ninja beating up on somebody. You don't think that nigga's relative to Sasuke. He really already looked like the type to lose in the first round and not even make it. Tintin being useful for once giving us some comic relief and Neji back here probably seeing through the whole damn illusion. Who knows what's going through his mind? Little does he know he about to see Rock Lee almost kill a nigga and say I was saving this jutsu for you. So what? Now Sasuke walk up with hella you know what it's emitted from him and look at Rock Lee's face. He just saw a phenomenal opportunity. This how the nigga in third world countries look when the cameraman walking around filming. Bro ass don't even got a clue. We finna do his ass. Sasuke calls out the fact that it's all an illusion. This nigga who name I forgot took that personal Rock Lee like ain't no fun if the gang can't get none blew his whole damn cup Like they were supposed to blend in and not look strong This nigga instantly fumbled the mission Now Sasuke says that's some chakra in his arm like bro can't even fathom someone stopping that weak ass kick It didn't even look that hard Turns out that Rock Leland intervened in this situation just to show out bro wanted that soccer He bricked up for real bro trying to blossom on something else We've all been in that position especially in middle school where we trying to show out in front of our crush doing everything except approaching them directly but trying to make sure they seen us dropping a pencil in front of them then picking it up at 0.7 speed like it don't take you that damn long to pick up a pen get your ass out of here leland different though he was indeed trying to show out but he made sure to shoot his shot in front of everybody got his ass rejected too but it comes with the territory you miss every shot you don't take which is why i didn't score in my varsity season on the basketball we're not gonna talk about it but sasuke notices the marks on lee's face were disappearing and as we know it he don't know no damn jutsu to do that however we do know that the gate of healing allows the user to heal themselves this is obviously before the gates were explained to us so hindsight lets us know that lee rose to the occasion and didn't shoot his shot all damaged and prepared bro opened a whole ass gate just to appear at his best in front of like the worst damn character in the show. He presented himself as best as he could and Sakura still popped the balloon on his ass. It really be like that, but you ain't want PTS Sakura anyway, trust me. Now Sakura walks off from the scene holding Naruto and Sasuke's hand and I can't help but think this is why Rock Lee was so intense. Like Neji over here thinking about the fight that he never got. Good job, Kishimoto and Rock Leland.
See, Leland, he a mean ass side eye, bro. It's press. Shoot your shot, break hella what? bad in front of everybody. Then see her walk off with a new boy. Oh, yeah, I gotta take him out. See, Rock Lee is normally a man of manners. He thought by doing the right thing and preventing an unordained fight was what attracted women to yourself. Bro came to the realization, like, is this what girls like? Now, this is further corroborated by the fact that when his team is ready to leave, Rock Lee says, go ahead, I have something I want to check out with another bombastic ass side eye like yeah he up to no good rockley shows up at the top of the banister scaring all the hoes inviting niggas to fights they don't want you like fighting i like fighting too um so nigga what that supposed to mean my sensei told me i'm good at fighting showed up to the scene begging like my mom said i can eat that i don't give a damn what your mom said nigga jumped off the banister like my name is rockley what's your name uh my name is sasuke i know your name it's sasuke uchiha my nigga why did you ask put your hands why though, Lee? This entire situation is happening so fast. Now he explains that he wants to test how effective his techniques will be against a descendant of a clan of geniuses. It's too early in the manga at this point for us to know anything about the Uchiha clan for real, for real. But if only Lee knew. Genius enough to get watched by two niggas and three Sharingan. You can guess whose it wasn't. Oh, but maybe if Rocky yeah. left it right here, there wouldn't have been a video. But he then proceeded to say, also. Oh, Sakura. Bro can't notice he's scaring the hoes with this approach, obviously. Like, his decision to say this further corroborates that he took it personal when she walked off holding Sasuke's hand. And if he wasn't scaring the hoes at first, he definitely is now. Because bro doesn't think no means no. He said, I'm leaving here with something. Look at Sakura. She's stressing, bro. Do this in 2024 and you're cooked. Wallahi, welcome to the life of a rapper in the underground music scene. I mean, she pulling off some of the most athletic moves we've seen her do in the entire PTS to avoid these kids. This is bro. Then Lee looking at her like, you're gonna be so mean about it. Like, yes, she do, nigga. She already said no twice now. Sasuke, that one nigga that know he can't fight, but trying to like tough his way out of it with words. Do you know the weight that my last name holds? Do you know who we are, nigga? That nigga Lee clapped back like, well, I know there were enough of y'all to fill up a battle bus. And then the ethernet cord got pulled out, disconnecting the entire lot. <laughs> Tell Saucy cause this his show and niggas got more motion than him in it so he inserts himself Said all I need is five minutes Who the hell is you? Nigga this my show Smack his ass, hit him with the cobra like Santino This a bad way to go out Naruto recovered through a high lead Ducked it and kicked him in the hand he was balancing with Look at this goofy ass spin he did His ass drunk Told Naruto he was no match for him Then started dirty macking in front of Sakura See this is the stage somebody reached when they hella down bad and desperate And if a direct attempt doesn't work trying to get a girl They start trying to do slick stuff. Bro ass was like, I'm really strong in the art of other guinea and I beat the hell out of one of these niggas. Boy, straight up, niggas don't want to fight. And what happened to that nigga voice? Sasuke had a flashback sequence and that made his decision for him. And see, this should be a message to all of y'all, bro. Living in the past don't do nothing good for you. He thinking about the past and he like, like, you know somebody finna make a bad decision when they do this. Then here goes Sakura reminding the teacher she gave the class homework looking ass. Sasuke, we're gonna be looking at Tomato, bitch. tomato. Like, shut Don't your ass up and go help Naruto or something. Bro was over there in a deep slump. Sasuke said it'd be over in five minutes. That's the only thing he was right about. And he started sprinting. Then Rock Lee ass gonna say, Guy Sensei, I'm sorry. I might end up using that technique. Like, bro? Excuse me? Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't it just supposed to be like a quick spar or something? What happened that fast, bro? The hell you mean you finna use a taboo forbidden technique? Duck the right hook, look at Sasuke legs right here. See, it, bro is not moving stable. Whenever your legs do something like this, you're, you're, you're not calibrated, bro. You ain't drink enough water or something. You lost already. And again, look at Sasuke ugly ass, bro. I'm a third person thinker. So the first thing running through my mind in a situation is how do I look? And if this is how I look, Oh man, it's <laughs> Sasuke dodged the leaf hurricane that probably would have knocked all the loot off of him and Lee followed up with a mean ass 2L. But it's a built in 50 50, bro breaking hella rules. <laughs> a high, a low. Which one is it? I don't have enough time. Just block. Dang, it was an unblockable nigga lock in. Unfortunately, these are terms that Sasuke has never heard in his life. All he know is fireball jutsu. Blood, like where does the chakra come into the mix at? Is this ninjutsu, genjutsu, sorcery? Like this is how the announcers was when Jordan did that behind the back. It's not that deep. He wrapped it around from his right hand to his right hand. I've never seen that in all my days. This nigga Sasuke got up like, ah, uh, <laughs> okay, I wouldn't even find 
fight for real. Fight for real. Nigga, don't make me pop the trunk on your ass in here. Pop the trunk on my ass in here. Sakura looking like a fake ass Boruto on the top of wall rolls. Like, Sasuke, are we doing it now? Right here? Like, your ass is not involved. The craziest part about all of this is at this point in the series, the Sharingan has such a devious representation. You can't even flame Sakura for glazing because at this point in the series, the Sharingan is like the damn boogeyman for real. Like, we thinking he finna get on Lee ass crazy. Even Lee like, oh, that's what was in the trunk? The greatest part about this fight for real is that it really was like a reveal to Taijutsu as a concept. I know the show strays away from Taijutsu from this point forward onto the next two series. We can't let that take away from how cleverly written this reveal was. Asuke chasing Sakura glazing Naruto hibernating. His ass still knocked out. He did a mean ass two ways to kick that ended it all, bro. This is the first time the Sharingan really took a blow for real. Those damn eyes can cook your food, raise your children, raise a nigga hospital bill. You cannot help raise your hands. You gotta do that part, gang. Now, in terms of Sasuke losing his aura and mystique that has been built up by his name, abilities, and unknown history up to this point, this sequence really does the nigga in. Like, this frame of him flying from the kick is absolutely insane. Like, where did you go wrong? Naruto wake up just in time for Rock Lee to do the absolute damn most. This sequence is crazy. I didn't even remember this. Take the low kick, right? This is either a leg kick or a body kick. He already making Sasuke guess. Psych, it was neither. Now it's a 3366. Likely gonna go for the head kick. Psych, it was neither. Now it's a 2575. Well, he that nigga can't catch a damn break. Bro ass threw an axe kick. If <laughs> yo, if Sasuke got hit with this, bro, the top of his skull would have been bust wide open. We gotta give him his credit too for avoiding that. But the heavens are open. Your ass is getting flooded. It's not done, my nigga. A high kick with so much turbulence. Is that a hair from Sasuke's head? Bro missed the high kick and turned it into a spinning hook kick with the opposite foot. Oh, hell nah. No. Sasuke blocked the right hand, but I can't help but think the right hand by Rock Lee was intentional because it went from a block punch to a command grab. Look how he fixed his hand to pull him from a whiff left hook to a body elbow right into the kidneys. I know he was pissing fire the whole day. No, I promise this was already more than enough. It was already embarrassing and more than enough of a reveal. But Leland started teaching this boy mid ass whooping. Speed with some nigga, stare at a nigga, lecture a nigga, weave his back fist. Yeah, it's over. Moment a trained ninja start divvying away from the form he thinking too hard and getting emotional coach has never taught you to react like that told his ass your shine gonna be able to detect ninjutsu and genjutsu but my jutsu gotta switch on oh, this nigga voice keep changing then told his ass in other words which honestly is the most condescending thing you don't think he understood you the first time in other words you can see me but nigga you can't see me. gave sasuke a whole ass lecture like there are three type of characters in this show niggas who got it out of the mud niggas who get drawn in Kishimoto's good graces and bum ass niggas. Can you guess which one you aren't? Riddle me this, Sasuke. Bro, think he the realer now? I can help you see something your Sharingan can't, Sasuke. The light. That was the last straw for Sasuke. Bro threw all of his training out the window. He throwing straight haymakers now. Now, the most embarrassing part of this fight is where Rock Lee fakes as if he's gonna kick him, causing Sasuke to flinch. Toad his ass. Bam! <laughs> Look at you covering up like your titties popped out. Tighten up, nigga. <laughs> Underneath with another damn Damn, two ways. I mean, seeing Sasuke this compromise is giving me secondhand embarrassment. Like, get from up there, my nigga, your mom watching. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is where Rock Lee completely loses me. Bro is out of his damn mind. Pops up behind him, started whispering something sensational in his ear. I can't stand niggas like you, man. Niggas who ain't had to work hard for a thing in their life, man. Hogging up all the screen time with your, with your fireball jutsus and water dragon jutsus. What about me, man? Y'all don't think about me, man? How that make me feel? I'll show you how it make me feel, man. Lee was about to body this nigga Sasuke for absolutely no reason other than what? To prove a point? Prove a point to a nigga who don't even understand? It's not even like bro was arguing with him. He's just hella confused. He was never introduced to a concept like this. Bro just, bro wanted to win a fight. He started and was already winning. So to understand how crazy Rock Lee is for doing this, we need to understand what was finna happen. A primary Lotus, also referred to as the front Lotus, which at least requires one gate to perform. In chapter 52, Guy stated when you call upon the Lotus, 
this, you are sacrificing part of yourself. Bro was gonna sacrifice part of himself off a damn inferiority complex. Is that, that's what it had to be. Cause he mentioned bro being a genius hella time. He was permitted to only perform this technique to protect someone very important in a dire situation. Now tell me what the hell about this situation is dire. Now nobody's perfect, of course. Every character in the series is flawed, including Rock Leland. Like it's okay, he's a kid. He got all up in his head, but it's still, bro ego tripping crazy over what? Like Sakura already says she don't want you. You can't say it's two teenagers fighting over a girl. Bro was finna badly bruise and incapacitate Sasuke just to still get rejected and probably resent it even more. And just so you know how strong and dangerous the damn primary Lotus is, if it being forbidden and having a self rule isn't enough to convince you for some damn reason. Leland did the same thing on Dosu and bro said I landed on a pillow of soil and it still almost wiped me out. Zaku helped the nigga and he's still, all right, whatever. I'm not even gonna spend time trying to banter on what being wiped out means in this context, but I can guarantee one thing, Sasuke would have not been able to participate in the exams if Rock Lee did this jutsu. The primary Lotus, the same primary Lotus that had Gara looking like this. The same Lotus that's a double-edged sword and left Lee in a mass of pain and weakness according to Kakashi. The same primary Lotus that doesn't feel good, Lee. This forbidden ass jutsu, Yamat, fam. Like, Rock Lee dead ass got resentment towards geniuses. Like, damn, what I do? Like, we're talking a bare minimum of a broken ass neck and 100% not fighting for the rest of the exam. What was the point? Sasuke wasn't even hostile enough to warn a reaction like this. No fireball, no nothing. Like, I get people might not like Sasuke, and don't get me wrong, this scene funny as hell, but it's also crazy. Like, if you don't think Lee was going too far, then I don't even know what the say bro started the fight already had the idea of breaking mike guys rules before sasuke did anything won like all three encounters and rounds no point was he on the defensive he's like all right genius you ever had every bone in your body bro <laughs> Put your damn head cracked down the middle. Can you sure ain't gonna copy that? And don't even say he would have stopped at the last second, because where's the evidence to argue that? He got hella evidence showing everything else, though. For any other convincing that's left, my guy nor his summoning were fans of the idea, to say the least. Just straight up crashed out, did his ass dirty in front of his squad. And Naruto really ail mans, because when you woke up, your first instinct should have been to throw some damn shuriken or something. Like, I know Sasuke was confused as hell, like, for way, I thought we was Sparring OG. I'm not gonna lie though, I really think this is canon. Like a nigga who works super hard his whole life, being a little envious of the niggas who maybe don't got to and still be winning and thriving, at least for this little part of the series, it make hella sense. That's crazy. If you think that's crazy, just wait till you meet the creator of Crash Out Jutsu. You think Rock Leland learned this from watching too much TV? Hell no, nah. somebody taught him that. Fraud skate is crazy. That's a crazy ass guy. I swear, has anybody said that? Has anybody said that? I'm so scared to search it up. I'm so scared. I'm not even finna search it up. <laughs> I don't even want to find out.